people feel in their spirit that we're coming to a no good end. They can feel it in their spirit. I've got an article here now, and let's see who filed this article. I believe it was filed by the Sacramento, I, at any rate, it was Sacramento CBS 13. It was listed in the Drudge Report. And here's what it says. It says thousands of people lined up for hours outside of a California expo to buy ammunition. The line wrapped around the building for the first of the two day gun show. You've heard uh, the early bird gets the worm. At the crossroads of the West gun show, it couldn't be true. We got here at 5.45 a.m., said one person. We were 64th, and it took us 3.5 hours. This was for my rifle, said an attendee. Ammunition is hot as a hot commodity at Cal Expo. And by the way, if you bought into the ammo or gun manufacturing stock over the past four years since the Mac Daddy has been in office, you have made a killing in the market. Now, a lot of people say this is racism. That is racial fear. That people are buying guns because Obama's alleged to be black. That is racism. If he, you know, and, and so that, well, I can, they can say that if that makes them feel better. But I can tell you this. People believe that we are headed towards a time where they're going to have to defend themselves. And when we give ourselves a year, let's talk again this time next year and see how many people will be in the streets robbing and killing, trying to get food. If not a year from now, certainly two years from now, you will, and that there will be martial law, Obama's troops will be out. There is a, uh, when you are dealing with someone who is as evil as Obama, or, well, let's put it this way, because people wouldn't digest that. When you are dealing with a circumstance, when the house of cards uh, is built the way this house of cards, our constitution, our government, the U.S. Supreme Court, when everybody in America knows that Obama's wholly and completely ineligible to serve, no court will entertain anything against him. He's using a forged social security number. He's a disbarred lawyer. When you, when the courts can't touch that, when they understand, when, when the American people understand that this man is a criminal par, beyond belief, and yet the courts can't touch him, then nobody can be confident in this society. You just can't be confident about tomorrow. I mean, if it was something, if it was sexual problems, as you know, having extra affairs with someone, okay, all right, we can deal with that. But nobody knows how to deal with this. They know at some point in time, there has never been a time in the history of the world where this kind of evil has been a, a threat where all America is being held hostage. So people are buying guns. You can say it's racism if you want. People are preparing for the very worst because we're being held hostage by this disbarred lawyer, by this man using the force social security number and everybody knows it and nobody will do anything about it. When the media will not touch, listen, Bob Woodward and uh, Ed Schultz, two very liberal, very popular, very powerful uh, piece in the me people in the media, well, their careers are over with. I'm talking about Bob Woodward, everybody. His career is over with because he dare raise a question about Obama. Ed Schultz, his career is over with because he dare raise a question about Obama. Everybody's running, fray, uh, running scared. Everybody's watching carefully what they say that they don't in any way. Even John Banyer is now saying he trusts Obama, everybody. You cannot build a house of cards like this and expect it to last. So people are preparing them. They're arming themselves. And then you've got the general consensus of a very poor economy in the first place. People are getting ready for a black horse famine. They're getting ready for the beginning of sorrows. And you'd better get ready for it too, don't you? Let people say, well, I'm not going to go out and say, I don't, don't buy a gun because I don't want to represent that I'm racist. It ain't nothing to do with racism. This is reality, everybody. This is stomped down a hardcore reality. You had better protect yourself because at some point this entire thing is gonna collapse and when it does, well, you know what they say about the fan and that other thing.